Hi grade 12s, welcome to another lesson. Today's lesson is going to be about RNA. RNA, like DNA, is a nucleic acid. Is a nucleic acid. So RNA and DNA They are nucleic acids. They fall under the same group. Nucleic acids. Okay. RNA stands for color ribonucleic acid. Okay, so there are three types of RNA. So there are differences. Okay, so that's it. for the, the similarities between DNA and RNA is that they fall under the same group, nucleic acids. Okay, so there are many, there are some, there are few differences between RNA and DNA, and we're gonna discuss that further later in the lesson. But there are three types of RNA. So your first uh, type, number one, is your ribosomal RNA. Ribo Zomal RNA. Okay. Or we can call it short form R RNA. Okay. So ribosomal RNA, the, the ribosomes from grade 10, if you know the ribosomes are the site of, of protein synthesis. It is where proteins are made. So here ribosomal RNA, the special type of RNA, it combines with special types of proteins to form ribosomes, to form the site where other proteins are going to be produced. Okay, so this uh, ribosome RNA, it combines, plus, it combines with other proteins and it produces, and it produces ribosomes. Okay, and these ribosomes will then be the sites for more proteins to be produced. Okay, so the proteins will be produced on these ribosomes. Then the second one is messenger. Messenger RNA. RNA, or we can short form mRNA. mRNA. Okay, so basically from, from its name, from its name, messenger, we know that it's going to send or relay messages. So how does, where does it get the message and where does it take the message to? So it gets its messages from the nucleus. So if I have a cell here, then I have my, uh, I have my nucleus here. All right, so these mRNA, these mRNA are going to get there. They're gonna get the, the message. The message is going to be given to them in the nucleus. And then we know that DNA or genetic material controls the, uh, the activity of the cell, controls the, um, the manufacturing of new, thing, of new organelles within the cell. So how does it get, how does these messages get sent? It gets sent by the mRNA or the messenger RNA. So the DNA or the DNA sends a message onto the mRNA. The mRNA moves out of the cytoplasm and it goes throughout the cell sending messages throughout the cell and therefore the cell can uh, function efficiently all right so we know that the set third one is your the third one is your transfer rna or we can call it trna Right, tRNA. Okay, and basically this also, also for uh, this also plays a role in protein synthesis. Okay, tRNA transfer RNA. It plays a role in protein synthesis. Therefore, it has something to do with ribosomes. I'm not going into much detail now because we are going to cover protein synthesis in later videos. So I'm just, I'm just uh, scratching the surface of these uh, ribonucleic acids. Okay, 
Rachel. So now we have done the three types of RNA, uh, ribonucleic essence. These are, the, to recap, number one, ribosomal RNA, number two, messenger RNA, and number three, transfer RNA. All right. Now we're going to draw, now I'm going to draw a table and I'm going to discuss the differences between DNA and RNA. Okay, great files. Uh, now we're going to do the differences between DNA and RNA. Okay, so the first difference from the previous lessons that we have discussed, that we have went through, we talked about a lot about DNA. And one of the things that we said about that I said about DNA is that it is double stranded. It has a double helix structure. So the first thing is, you can write down for okay, for DNA. Is double stranded. Okay. Whereas an RNA, RNA is single stranded. That means it does not have a double helix structure. Okay. The second one is that for DNA, the deoxy. The deoxy, the name of the, sh the sugar is called deoxyribose sugar. But here in RNA, it does not have a deoxy link to the sugar. So the sugar is not called deoxyribose, it's called a ribose sugar. Okay. So the pentose, we know that the sugar is, is a pentose sugar. There's four, five sides. So the pentose sugar here, pentose sugar is deoxy, deoxyribose, okay, sugar, pentose sugar is deoxyribose and here in, in, in uh, RNA, uh, pentose, pentose sugar is ribose. Okay, we call it ribose sugar. So those are the two. So far, we know that RNA is single stranded instead of double stranded. RNA has a ribose sugar instead of a deoxyribose. Now we're moving on to the third difference, and the third difference is is that it is uh, helical. Okay, helix. Now we it links to the first difference. So DNA is a has a helix structure. Helix and here RNA no helix. Okay, that's the third one. So the third and the first one links together. Then we have the fourth one. Now this is very important. In DNA, we know that the nitrogenous base, nitrogenous bases are what? They are adenine, your A. Thymine, your C, cytosine, and also guanine. All right, but in uh, RNA, the nitrogenous bases are different. There's one difference. All right, there's one difference. Nitrogenous bases. Okay. In RNA, your cytosine will join to your guanine, and then your adenine. Instead of joining to thymine, it joins to U. And what does this U stand for? It's a different kind of nitrogenous base. It's called uracil. Uracil. Okay, okay. Uracil. So your cytosine will join to guanine, adenine joins to uracil. So that is a difference. That is the difference that you need to highlight. 
in your notebooks. Okay, it's a big difference. All right, instead of thymine, it has uracil. All right, now we're moving on to the fourth one. In DNA, the chains are longer. Chains are long. The, the, the nucleotides that make up each DNA strand are long. Chains are long. And whereas in, in RNA, they are short strand, short chains. Okay, they're very short chains. And then the last one, the last one for DNA is base pairing. Okay, the last one is base pairing. Base pairing. Okay, but in RNA, there is no base pairing. No base pairing. Okay. Meaning that when you find an RNA, an RNA can be single stranded and it can it can exist in the cell as a single strand, whereas DNA has to has has to has to um, pair its bases to another strand and therefore form a helical structure. But in certain cases, like I said here in in RNA, RNA does does form uh, base pairs in certain situations when it's uh, when it's uh, doing its function, such as in terms of ribosomal RNA, messenger RNA, tRNA. So we're gonna come to that, where, where, where there's certain circumstances where RNA does have base pairing, but most of its time, it does not have base pairing. But we are going to do protein synthesis in later videos. Okay, grade 12s, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope you understand the work a little bit better even more that will be i'll be much happier uh please like this video please share this video and please subscribe thank you so much for watching